Pendleton News investigation, a federal judge issuing a rare order in the case involving a Houston terror suspect. Tonight we're learning more about this unusual move by the judge. He filed what's called an order of ineptitude, calling prosecutors out for their behavior. Channel 2's Jace Larson's live now. So, Jace, this kind of move is something uh, that really doesn't happen often, right? Yeah, it sure doesn't. That judge is using some very strongly worded language here. And what he's doing is taking to task federal prosecutors from Washington, D.C. But those are D.C. prosecutors here in the Houston area working on a very high profile terrorism case. Federal Judge Lynn Hughes titled the court document Order on Ineptitude, a highly unusual filing by a federal judge. In it, he called prosecutors handling Al Hardin's terrorism case pretentious. I think the judge Hughes was trying to send a message. At issue here is how federal prosecutors from Washington, D.C., known as Maine Justice Prosecutors, went about getting a court transcript. Hughes blasted prosecutors, saying if they knew what they were doing or had the humility to ask for help, they would have received their transcript easily. It would not have taken, quote, three days, seven telephone calls, three voicemail messages, and one snippy electronic message. I think we see. A federal judge calling out the Department of Justice with the frequency of Haley's Comet. It doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it's a big deal. Channel 2's legal analyst Brian Weiss says he's never seen an order like this, but he says it will not affect Al Hardin's ability to get a fair trial. It is not going to affect the conduct of the trial on any level, like great judges, great home plate umpires don't squeeze the strike zone on hitters and pitchers they don't like. He's not going to take it out on the folks from Maine Justice. Well, today we reached out to Washington, D.C. to talk to those prosecutors and try and figure out what happened. They told us they have no comment. Al Hardin is still expected to go to trial, but that trial is a long way off. Reporting live, Jace Larson, KPRC Channel 2 News. All right.